Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making pork with peppers and onions over rice. Alright, so we're going to start by making our rice first. So what we're using is one cup of rice to which we're going to add two cups of water. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and once it's actually at a rapid boil then we're going to reduce the heat and let it cook for about 18 minutes with the lid on so that way it's basically steaming the rice and it'll be done at the 18 minute marker and we can set this aside and let it be on its own until we actually cook the pork so as you can see mine is at a boil at this point and i'm going to turn the temperature down to like a low to medium and let it continue to cook for the next 18 minutes and then as you can see mine is done and I'm going to set this aside. So in a skillet we are going to add at least two or more tablespoons of olive oil and we're going to get this around our pan a little bit so that way when we put our pork in it's going to be heated up and we want it to be warm to start with because we're going to put this like at a medium to high temperature to cook and we're going to add to this at least two cups of cut up pork which basically we're making it into strips. So we're gonna get that into our pan, let the temperature come up, and we're gonna move it around a little bit and try to get a little bit of that olive oil to coat the pork. And once we have this all around our pan, we're gonna start adding our seasonings to this. So we're gonna start out with a half a teaspoon of paprika. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic pepper seasoning. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of Memphis seasoning, which is for chicken and pork for grilling or cooking. And once we get this in here, we're going to stir this up, get the oil all over it, and make sure that the seasoning goes onto all the pieces of pork. And we're going to cook this for at least eight or nine minutes because we want to get this pork really cooked before we add anything else to it. And as you can see in the pan, mine is cooked. It's already changed color. And now we're going to add a pepper onion blend, which is basically... Um, bell peppers that are red, green, and then there's some onion cut up in it. You can buy this in the freezer section. And we're going to add a cup of that in, and then we're going to mix this through with the pork that's cooking. We want to actually thaw out the vegetables because these are frozen to begin with. And you're going to cook this for maybe about four or so minutes, five minutes, to get them a little thawed out before we add the next ingredient. So go ahead and mix them through. That way you'll get the seasoning onto the vegetables as well. And when we get it really cooking here and everything seems thawed out and the peppers are doing well and the onions are actually cooking, then we are going to add in a cup of mushrooms that have been sliced up. Once we get those in, we're going to stir them into the mix as well. Now once we get this in there, we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes. So that way we can actually get these mushrooms cooking. And as you can see with mine, they've cooked up quite well. And now we're going to add in the last couple of ingredients. We're going to about three tablespoons of sesame oil. And that's going to give it a bit of flavor and kick. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of honey. And you're like, oh, honey, what's that going to do? It's actually going to sweeten this because the sesame oil is actually going to sweeten a little bit. But the honey is going to add the rest. And it's going to give a really good taste to the pork and the vegetables and make it kind of on the sweet end. But it has such a great taste. And when this is completely cooked in, because we're going to let this simmer for about maybe four minutes or so. Then we're going to take it out, get the moisture out of it, and put it over our rice. And this is what we're serving. And when it's done, it looks something like this. And this has such an amazing taste because the flavoring just perks up the peppers, the onion, and the pork, and the rice just works with it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available worldwide. The first book is all about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.